An update tonight on a story we first reported on Fox16.com involving a Little Rock photographer forced to pay $200,000 for scamming people. Tonight, one of the victims is speaking out. Jay Burr, following this story, Jay sounds like he wasn't the only one scammed, right? Not at all, guys. Rogers Cockrell's daughter was going to be featured in a neighborhood publication, and the pictures turned out so well, he actually wanted to buy some. And once he picked the package that he wanted with Jonathan Funk, the photographer, he thought nothing about it. Weeks went by, months went by, and he continually kept requesting his order from Funk until he just stopped answering his calls altogether. Turns out Cockrell was one of over 50 people that Funk took pictures for, but then never provided the products. He eventually filed a complaint with the Attorney General's office and finally got digital copies of the photos that Funk took. I thought that it would, I would feel better, you know, because that's what, I just want my photos, you know. Yeah. Now I got the photos, I was like, yeah, I don't know, I'm still out $6,500, you know. The AG's office also recovered thousands of photos from Funk Studio, and they even have some of their products at, the, at their office, like canvas photos and photo albums. They are advising anyone that may have had business dealings with Funk and did not file an official complaint to contact their office because they just might have some of their things. And Leslie Rutledge says she would much rather be on the walls of Arkansans than hanging in her office. Guys. <laughs> totally understand. All right. Thank you.